Hello Dickinsonians, welcome to the start of the academic year and let me tell you it's going to be a great one. I'd like to take a minute to recap our summer and talk about the upcoming year. But first, let me begin by extending a special welcome to our first year students. I'm excited for you to join this vibrant community of brilliant thinkers and global leaders. Be sure to bring your true selves to Dickinson. Whether it's through academics, athletics, or student leadership, it is your uniqueness that makes our college thrive. I'd also like to welcome another newcomer to Dickinson, our new provost, Renee Kramer. Renee started in July and has hit the ground running. She's already a source of innovative ideas and boundless creativity. You'll have opportunities to hear from Renee in the days ahead. The Dreyer Hall renovation is complete, featuring new furniture, modern common spaces, and updated accessibility features. The John M. Paz Alumni and Family Center will be fully online by the start of 2024. This space will serve as a gateway to campus, not only welcoming alumni and families, but connecting students with alumni for networking opportunities and much more. We're exploring possibilities for renovating the hub and I'll have an update for you in October. We also finalized our strategic plan with input from many of you. Now I'm pleased to report that Standard & Poor's reaffirmed our a rating with a stable outlook. This shows our financial strength. In June, we had a record-breaking alumni weekend with over 1,600 Dickinsonians returning to campus. And last fiscal year was a banner fundraising year with over 6,400 alumni, parents, friends, faculty, staff, and students contributing more than $20 million to Dickinson. So as you can see, the momentum and energy at Dickinson is absolutely fantastic. Remember to wear the red on Fridays and come out to support our athletes as the fall season gets underway. Here's to another great year. I can't wait to work with all of you as we continue to move Dickinson forward.